Okay, we have our topic eight math review with equivalent fractions. So just a quick fraction review, some vocabulary. The top of a fraction is the numerator. The de bottom is the denominator. You can remember uh, denominator, down, down, denominator. Down is the bottom, so denominator. That's just an easy way to remember. So when we look at the denominator, it's the amount of pieces in the whole thing. So if you have a chocolate bar, right, with two out of four pieces, it means you have four pieces in total. The, um, the numerator is the amount that you have out of the total. So this fraction means that you have two out of four, okay, pieces of that chocolate bar. Fraction is a part of a whole. Here we have the fraction seven sevenths. So when the numerator when the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction is equal to one whole. Example, seven sevenths. You have pizza cut into seven pieces and nobody has eaten any slices yet, so there are seven left. Same if it was chocolate, right? It's a chocolate bar cut into seven pieces and you just unwrapped it. There's still all seven pieces. Unit fractions are just any fraction where the numerator is one. So one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one one hundredth. It's just an important piece of vocabulary to know. Which comparison is true? Sorry, these are written a little weird. I'm going to rewrite them. It's just how it comes out on the computer. Okay. So. I believe that I wrote these by hand for the test, so that won't be an issue. So to check if it's true, I'm going to compare these fractions uh, by, well, I could change them to have a common denominator or I can just cross multiply. So to cross multiply, eight and eight, right? That's that butterfly method I like to call it or just cross multiplication. Eight and eight are equal. So this should say equal. So this one fourth is greater than two eighths is not true. Let's check B. Four fifths is less than three fourths. Well, I can cross multiply. I see 16 is bigger than 15. This says less than, so that's not true. I could also turn these into a fraction with 20 as a denominator because I know that's a multiple of both. So this would have been times 4 fourths. So I would get 16 twentieths is less than 15 twentieths. That's not true, right? 16 is greater than 15, so like I said, not true. I think we can just cross multiply though, it's a great method. 8 thirds is 24, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 is less than 24, this is true, 3 eighths is less than 3 fourths. And if we think about 3 fourths as a fraction with 8 in de the denominator, you would get 6 eighths, right? So 3 eighths is less than 6 eighths. True. Let's see, if we look at D just to be sure, this is 14, this is 6. 6 is not greater than 14. All right, so that is that. Which list shows only fractions that are greater than 1 fourth? So... I need to find a list with fractions that are all bigger than one fourth. The easiest way to do this is to just compare all of these to one fourth. Find the list where everything is bigger than one fourth. Let's check all of the ones in A. Is one eighth bigger than one fourth? It's not, right? This four is not bigger than this eight. So right away I know A is not right because I need all of them to be bigger than one fourth. Let's check here, two eighths and one fourth. This is eight and this is eight. These are equal, so this it can't be my answer. And if I checked these, uh, one third actually is bigger than one fourth, but one seventh is not. None of these fractions are bigger than one fourth. I know it's a little confusing because it's 8, 5, and 6, and those are bigger than, uh, than 4, but if you think about it, right, 1 fourth of a pizza is this much, 
Now, if I made a pizza that looked like this, one eighth would be this little piece, right? So one eighth of a pizza is actually smaller piece than one fourth. I know that's not the greatest diagram, but. All right, one half, is that greater than one fourth? Let's check. It is. Let's check two thirds. Four times two is eight, three times one is three. That's good, let's check one fifth. Is one fifth greater than one fourth? Four, it is not, not true. So I know my answer must be D, but we're gonna, of course, check three fourths is obviously bigger than one fourth, right? It's the same denominator, so we can just look at the numerator. Seven eighths is greater than three fourths. Correct. And one third is greater than one fourth. Let's check. Four, three, yep, that's correct. Awesome. So that answer is D.